got this dirty pool. I just wanted to show you guys those lights that I, uh, those permanent LED lights that I put up. Yeah, you know, the ones that basically are just there all year round. And I just wanted to show you guys that it's that season again. Anyway, back to the video. We got us a round of thunderstorms last night. Pretty cold out here. Uh, the grass is, you know, I'm trying to come in. I still got some areas. I'm still hadn't still hadn't had a chance to do any overseeding because uh, all the other work that I have going on. But this evening, I'm going to, I'm going to get out and get my little garden weasel out and hit some of these bare areas. I'm um, going to try to... I, I have no idea when the first real frost is going to get here. So I'm not going to do like a complete... Uh, use a lot of seeds because I don't want to waste a lot of them. But I should have all this area nice and nice and covered up so I'm gonna try to get this um, get these seeds done and remember that edge that part down there at the end is I seeded that later on and then I left out of town for almost two weeks but anyway um, it is coming along as you can see it's popping up time for me to get of another cut to it you know it, it's probably the the best time is going to be in the spring but clearly the the root development of the grass here has uh, probably been you know strong enough to withstand the frost and by the time the, the stressful heat get here it, they would definitely be strong enough to withstand uh, some of the summer stresses but it's steady going and I can't forget about my backyard this is the backyard here and it's pretty much going dormant here. Don't have too many issues, but one thing I didn't do is put pre-emergent down, which uh, I don't think is ever too late, but I think I may, once it goes dormant, if anything comes up, probably just kill it all with glyphosate um, during one of the warmer days of the winter. Since a lot of the germination has probably already happened, um, it was just me being lazy and also being un unsure what I wanted wanted to do back here about overseeding it with uh, fescue. But since it's all completely established, I'm going to just go ahead and chill with it. Cut this down, and uh, yeah, I'm still going to put the the treatments out that I need to put out and then we're going to call it a day but this is the backyard Bermuda project and you know it came from really nothing if you've been following me I mean you've seen some of my how much dirt this was but I have a, a good ways to go as you can see I started putting mulch around here and the goal is to put like uh, I like the big pots I don't want to plant any any anything inside the ground here i want uh i want the pots on each side and then these big planters here and that big gazebo being here of course i have to get the concrete all one solid color so this is the backyard project um of course as you can see i got construction stuff then i'm in the middle of the bathroom remodel so I like to come down here and just look at how nice it, the fall is with the different foliage colors. Eventually I'll get upstairs and have uh, something I can sit up there and watch. Just taking in the, the scenes. Okay, now back to the hard work.